I don't have an intro yet, but for now, here's a picture of, I don't know, terrain? I'm, I, I need more ideas. It would absolutely not be one of my 50 state food tour videos if it didn't start at uh, 2.49 a.m. I wanna be on the road for Philadelphia tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm driving. I wanna be on the road for Philadelphia at like, I don't know, eight at the latest. And as always, the sleep is probably gonna go just like that. You know, this doesn't get any easier. Whew. So it's about a two and a half hour drive from uh, College Park here. Here we go. All right, I just picked up my Valentine and we're heading to Philadelphia. Say hi. Ah, oh, she's shy. I'll, I'll introduce you guys later. there Philly all right I'm now in a parking garage in Philadelphia and uh, it's time for me to introduce you to my Valentine okay so here she is yes if you thought that I would take a joke so far to where I would drive two and a half hours to bring a guitar around Philadelphia for Valentine's Day because I don't have an actual Valentine you're right that's exactly what I'm doing. So, if I look like a crazy person in my other vlogs talking to a camera, imagine me now talking to my phone with a guitar in my hand, occasionally taking it out to take a picture with it in front of a landmark of Philadelphia. Maybe there's something wrong with me. <laughs> All right, so uh, while I'm getting my bearings here in the city of Philadelphia, uh, I'll do some uh, stupid facts with Joey. Did you know that in 1909, the first baseball stadium was built in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? Did you know that in 1946, Philadelphia became home to the first computer? Did you know that the first daily newspaper was published in Philadelphia in 1784? Did you know that for one year in 1943, the Steelers and the Eagles merged teams to become the Steagles? All right, that's probably enough. Where are we going? Oh, by the way, my guitar's name is Carrie, and it's kind of ironic because I'm carrying her. Get it? So, uh, if you look right up there, this is, uh, this is Independence Hall, and right at the top of that, you can see, uh, that's Le'Veon Bell, uh, that's Kristen Bell, Drake Bell, Alexander Graham Bell, Tinker Bell, uh, the Liberty Bell, yeah, that's the one, that, the, the one with all the carving and stuff on it, I really don't know the significance of this place. Alright, let's figure this out, uh, what? at Independence Hall. Um, Second Continental Congress Community. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna wait for some people to go away before I like take my guitar out and take a picture in front of this thing. Uh, but I don't think that's gonna happen. It seems to be a pretty popular tourist destination for some reason. And uh, I'm just gonna look like a crazy person. Still gonna send it. I'll tell you what, I look like a complete maniac. So the thing about me is I uh, did zero research before coming here. So like, I don't really know where else to go. Is there any other historical stuff in Philadelphia? Like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. All right, uh, things to do in Philadelphia. Um, okay, so we're not doing that. Um, <laughs> that's an interesting tourist attraction. Uh, okay, we did that. Um, yeah, we, we did that. Is there another Is there another one? What? I don't understand. So it's come to my attention that the Liberty Bell no longer is up there, but it once was. So uh, maybe I go see the real one now. Just give me a break. I haven't been to Philadelphia since I was like five. And the last time I was here, I was at a Redskins game and I was five and some drunk Philadelphia Eagles fans were tearing into me and cussing at me as a five-year-old. So I try to repress that memory. Like when I tell you I did zero research, I mean like none at all. Like not even where the Liberty Bell is. It's uh, the bell's ringing. The one that's not the Liberty Bell. So I found the real Liberty Bell and I just put my Valentine through a metal detector. So I walk up to the security guard and I say, what's the weirdest request you've ever gotten for like a picture in front of the Liberty Bell? 
he was like, I don't know, I haven't really gotten any weird ones. And I was like, well, you're about to. So my excuse for getting a picture with the guitar in front of the Liberty Bell was, I said, oh, I'm starting a band, and we're calling the band the Liberty Bells, and they told me to come here and get a picture with it. And he was like, oh, okay. And then he took my picture in front of it. I feel like I can do anything now. But uh, with that, I pretty much am <laughs> out of ideas for stuff to do. Oh, I can fly my drone. I brought my, I brought my drone. I'm in the Constitution Visitor Center, charging up. Getting ready to go fly the drone in Washington Square Park by like the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, which is another thing that I forgot about. So small, but potentially crippling error on my part. I don't have one of the propellers for the, uh, for the drone. Hopefully it just fell out in the car. So I'm just walking by and uh, that right there is where Benjamin and Deborah Franklin are buried together. That's, wow. They are really dead, like really dead. Not like 100% sure why there were like pennies and stuff all over it. Seems like it would be appropriate on Lincoln's grave, but got it. And now we're off to uh, Sonny's famous cheesesteaks and then to fly the drone and then to go back home. Also, to be frank with you, it's kind of crazy to go to Philadelphia for like four hours when the commute time is like five or six hours. You know, that's just what we do here on Sea Stuff. This place is exactly how I expected it to be. All right, Philadelphia, I've heard a lot about these things. Let's see what you got. Whoa. They're that good. Yep. Yep. A very happy Valentine's Day to my beautiful date. Sorry, she's wearing her coat right now. She's kind of cold. <sighs> happy fucking Valentine's Day. That was fucking excellent. Fuck. I guess you could say uh, going there wasn't a mistake. Now off to Washington Square. Let's see if I can't get myself arrested for flying a drone here. What I do appreciate about this city is that just no one gives a fuck about you. Like, for hours I've been parading my guitar all over the city as if that's a normal thing to do. And no one's better than I. How you doing, sweetheart? Doing good? Good. She's such a great date. She doesn't talk much, but uh, she's great. Great to hold hands with. Big shout out to Philadelphia for being so drone friendly. It's gonna be a relatively short vlog. I didn't want to vlog everything because like I wanted to give me and my date some time to, you know, hang out and have a happy Valentine's Day. I had a really good time here in Philadelphia. Oh, speaking of which, this is Pennsylvania. I just imagine Ben Franklin's pimp self walking down these streets. I think Philadelphia is the only place where you can see an ice cream salesman like screaming and cursing because he hates working here. Those Philadelphians are a passionate bunch. I don't like weird noises in elevators. But uh, now all I have to do is drive three hours back to Maryland to be at my meeting, which is in three hours and 15 minutes, so. As I depart the lands of Meek Mills and Carson Wentz, I reflect on the wonderful times I had being as awkward as humanly possible. That's what you came here for. That's what you'll get for the rest of the 50 states. Uh, oh, 166,666 miles on old Bessie. All right, I'm finally home. So the question you're probably asking, did you really just drive six hours 
for a joke about having a guitar as a valentine? The answer to that would be yes. But I ended up having a really good time. So, I don't know. If you don't have a date, might as well send it. And uh, I'll leave you with that. Bye, guys.